Hey kids, I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin, and with me here today is my friend, Ivy. What is it with your generation and butt play and eating ass? <laughs> because I hear from my brother-in-law that works with a lot of uh, younger 20-somethings that people are really into eating ass and butt stuff. Why? I don't know. I personally don't have any uh, curiosity to... Uh, on my part to go out and eat ass not even like a girl's ass no although i'm sure it's a hell of a lot cleaner than a man's ass you don't know i've seen a lot of men's asses and they're really really fucking hairy and that just that just holds all the the bad juju that goes in and out of that whole area okay but how many assholes have you looked at you ever just like google google assholes assholes? no just look at assholes i mean i no, I don't just Google assholes if it slips on my screen. If it slips. <laughs> if it slips up, like, whatever. I've seen in a butthole before. God damn it. I was looking for TMZ, and somehow I got this butthole smorgasbord yeah, in front it. of me. Like, all these buttholes. Ugh. Stop I've taking s- pictures of your asshole, Jennifer Lawrence. I've seen some ugly assholes. Have you seen that picture of Jennifer Lawrence's butthole? No. From the, the cell phone pics that got stolen from her? No, oh. I didn't. I didn't get to see that. I seen the other ones, but I didn't see the asshole. Just Google Jennifer Lawrence's butthole. Okay, all right. I'll look into that. She's hot. I like her. She's all right. I feel like she farts a lot. You fart a lot. I'm a guy. I'm 35. And women aren't allowed to fart. She's like 26, and she shouldn't be walking around like, "Hey guys, <laughs> Hunger she- Games, woo!" And then a queef. Okay. I'm sure she's a little more classy than that. You don't know. It's Jennifer Lawrence. She's awesome because she's not classy all the time. Back to tongue in the bung. Ick. Why do we have to go back? Why do we have to go back? (laughs) It's like the crux of why this episode happened. Okay. Really. So you would not lick a butt. I would not lick lick a butt. Have you had your butthole licked? Yes. Go on. (laughs) Well, this is getting interesting. He was drunk, and he just, we were 69ing, and he just went up higher, and I thought it was hilarious, because I was drunk, and I just kind of sat up, and I'm like, bud, that's the wrong hole, and he's, he was trying to be all sexual, I was making jokes, so we were on two different pages. You sat up, he couldn't talk, because suddenly he's being suffocated (laughs) by your asshole. (laughs) That's where he wanted to be, apparently, Mm. so I don't think he had much to complain, but he... He was like, just go with it, just go with it. And I I think, I don't know what that was, but when he said it, it just made me bust out laughing. Like, it was the funniest thing in the world. And I felt so bad the next day because it was just like, he was being, he was trying to be all sexual and serious. And I just thought it was so funny. So funny. Just go with it. Just go with it. Like, your friend asked you to drive him to the bank. And then when you get there, he puts on a ski mask and he goes to get out of the car. And you're like, what? And he's just like, just go with it. Yeah. Also, yeah. keep the car running. Yeah. You, you're at the dentist, and, and he asks you uh, what flavor of fluoride you want today. You know, bubble gum or strawberry, and then he pulls his penis out, and you're like, what? And he's like, just go with it. Yeah, no. Ugh. Yeah, it was, it was, it's a great memory I still laugh on, so it's all right. Did you start laughing while still holding a D? I mean, I sat up, and I just kind of was, like, still in, like, what's going on mode. And then I just kind of turned my head around, and I'm like, uh, that's not the right hole. And he's like, just go with it. I'm like, I can't just go with it. Like, you're literally licking my butt right now. Holy shit! (laughs) That was just kind of it. And I tried to continue, but I just kept giggling, so we stopped. Can I tell you something from experience? Nothing is funnier than a girl who starts laughing with a dick in her mouth. They say that laughter's contagious. Laughter <laughs> with a dick in a girl's mouth and it's your dick, that's like super contagious. Really? 
I mean, I I haven't done that, but that's well, sounds you just funny. said you did that. No, it was in my hand. Oh, okay. I, I sat up. I like it. It wasn't that long. Well, you <laughs> said you got the giggles. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Hello. Nope, can't do it. Sorry. Nope. Yeah. Moment's like, over. I tried, but I didn't. I didn't giggle while it was in my mouth. I just kind of like. That's funnier. <laughs> I just held it and I started laughing because he just kept doing it. So I was like, "Yeah, no, I can't. I can't do this anymore. We gotta stop." You know what it sounds like when somebody laughs with food in their mouth? Like Gross. they're eating and they start laughing. <laughs> That's what a dick in a mouth and they're laughing sounds. It's fucking awesome. That's funny. Okay. If you can hear it or experience it, it's uh, I recommend it. <laughs> I don't mean like you just start laughing. Don't start like giving a blowjob and start thinking of a joke. <laughs> I'm like, just don't. If I start laughing, don't worry. It's just like this thing I got. Somebody told me to try it. Okay. That probably will ruin the moment or yeah. lead to an awkward conversation. That's fair. Maybe not as awkward as, so what was up with you and licking my ass? I'm like, just go with it. <laughs> so what you're saying is you're like, nah, I'm not into this. You can No, stop. it's not. It, there's nothing back there to stimulate, at least not on my body. So I don't know if a lot of these women just kind of play, play on it, but it's not for me. They think that the guy wants them to act all slutty and no. <laughs> Well, sir, <laughs> I'm a lot bothered. I guess so. And you need to brush your teeth. Yeah. Now, if a guy asks you for butt play, not with his mouth, if a gentleman asked you to give him a finger, how would you feel about that? A finger in his bum? Well, yeah. Oh, I'd be all about it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd jump right on Let's that back. fucking do this, yeah. That's literally how it'd be. Stick a finger in my butt. Ain't gonna tell me twice. Bink! It's already okay. in action. Okay. It's already in action. Time out. <laughs> Stop. No. It's not bink. You don't... You fuck... First off, you just like sidearmed a thumb. Yeah. You're not trying to fuck a pie. Yeah. Like that little... That no. little nursery rhyme. Nope. <laughs> Stop it, Simple Simon. <laughs> That's not how that works. You need lubrication. And a glove. I never got that. And a delicate approach. Courtesy. I never got that courtesy. Who put a finger in your ass? Wasn't a finger. Oh. Yeah. And it was not pleasant. Never did it again. No, it's because you needed the proper amounts of That's lubricant. That's what I figured, but, you know, I didn't know anything about it. That was like, that was the dude I lost my virginity to. So he just introduced me to a whole whirlwind of things that I didn't even understand. I hadn't even seen porn at that point, And he's just throwing all kinds of odd shit at me. So it's just like. All right, bud. Whatever. Tell me what to do, I guess. <laughs> it was not okay. It Never was... tell a boy that <laughs> it was when he's a okay. teenager. You show me the way. Well, it kind of just threw me into the deep end, and I just kind of went with what I liked and what I didn't and left what I didn't in the past. <laughs> Sounds like he taught you about regret. Yep. Quite it a was, bit. It was a, it was a rough relationship. It was not an okay one for sure. Now my farts don't make noise anymore. But I learned a lot of things about myself. So. Did you? Yeah. Uh, it was it was a mess. But I knew that was not for me. So I don't feel like I could give the courtesy. I just kind of just want to ram a whole thumb right up in the bunghole. You ask, you That's shall kind receive. That's kind of mean. That's kind of mean. It sounds hilarious. Like, Once upon a time, a guy <laughs> didn't use enough lubricant and my butthole hurt, so... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking taking out some pent-up aggression. Sorry about your asshole. I don't think <sighs> anybody in my generation really knows how to do butt stuff right. I don't think they know how to do a lot of things right. Cause... And I have met many of you over the years working in a jail. Oh, thank you. But there was a girl that I used to go to middle school with, and I heard some things in high school where she had actually got hemorrhoids from doing anal too much and, like, wasn't doing it properly. So it just, it all just kind of, pew. Lubrication. Lubrication, I I mean, now I know, but I still probably wouldn't try it again. Mm -hmm. Well, thankfully, you guys have the benefit of Google. Yeah. Google, Google so, can be scary, though. It'll teach you all kinds of wrong shit, and then eventually you'll get, like, a YouTube video of somebody talking in a computer voice because a computer is saying all the dialogue. Oh. And then it shows pictures, and then it gives you tips, and it talks about water-based lubricant and, uh, and using, like, a glove. You're supposed to use a glove? 
Well, do you want shit under your fingernails? I mean, I don't know. Apparently, nobody knows how to do anything. They're just real nasty these days. Okay. Hello, my children. I am Madame Esperanza, and I am here to give to you my coochie crisps. Do you have the hunger of a thousand mystics? Then feed your soul with the droppings of my femininity. Harvested from the warm, leathery drippings of my lady parts and dried on the radiator of my basement efficiency apartment. Seasoned with garlic salt and packaged one by one with the love of a woman who wants to nourish your chakras. Crunch away your cares and feel your soul animal come to life. We now have three great varieties. Original unwashed vaginet, zesty menses, and almost that time of the munch. Available now at all neighborhood bodegas. Madame Esperanza's Coochie Crisps. Taste my gypsy goodness. What up, Ninja? You're listening to Blumkin and Friends. And now, story time. I'm going to tell you a story. Oh. And then you're not going to look me in the eyes very much the same way anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see. So, recently, I got curious, because I've been hearing for years, that if a girl will milk your prostate, you'll come super hard. Okay. You girls have a G spot. We have a P spot. A P spot. Is that right. what it's called? So there was a couple of dry runs, no pun intended, hmm. but not enough lubrication. The glove thing I knew. You know, I had to ask the wife for a favor. And uh, and she had this tube of this stuff called Uber Lube. Sounds awesome. It comes in a little vial, like you're sneaking state secrets out across enemy lines of like viral warfare. Nice. Sounds like some good shit. Uh, well... <laughs> There, there, get put a towel on your ass for starters, because you don't want to get lube no, everywhere. No, it's it's like oil. You can't really. It, it takes a while to get out of your sheets. Water based lubricant. But it's like oil. I don't know. I don't really need lube typically when I'm oh, oh, in the act. Yeah. Because I have spit. Have we talked about this before? No. You no. lie spit. Bye. Gross. It's not gross. Shut up. <laughs> Grow the fuck up. <laughs> want to be spit on you're not being spit on like you disgust me whore you just very <laughs> elegantly deposit some saliva right on a vagina and then rub your dickhead in it and then there's some penis head on clit contact as you smear the spit around and then it helps you better gain entrance to holes okay you need more than spit for anal though or else somebody's gonna have a bad day yeah it's like ugh, skin burn anyway so I want you to picture me laying on my back with my uh, my feet kind of on the bed, like my knees up. Okay. Like I'm going to the doctor to get inspected. <laughs> Basically, my feet are in the invisible stirrups. And yeah. there's the dirty bee pouring lube on my asshole and then her finger. And I'm just like, oh, my God, what am I getting myself into? You're already there. You might as well go for the long haul. Well, right. But it's like, okay, this is happening. Yeah. I asked for it. And this better be awesome or I'm going to be super pissed. <laughs> because there's no putting this toothpaste back in the tube. I hope it wasn't awesome. <laughs> really? Thanks. <laughs> and, uh, okay. So just fast forward to there's a fucking f- finger in my ass. All right. Like full finger, one digit, two digit. No, two. <laughs> Who f- no, never fucking start with two fingers. God damn your generation and the internet. Two fingers? No. Digits. To- digits. That's... No, your <laughs> That's finger like- is a digit. This is... This is a... The whole finger's a digit no. to me. That's is how it- I define a digit. Okay, okay. Digital penetration. Well, it doesn't mean that somebody's doing it on film on, you know, ultra 4K DVD. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, okay, you- do you, do you, did you find it? Dude, if you have to ask, you'll never know. She doesn't exactly know. I, I mean, yeah. think I know. I've looked enough pictures. I'm like, okay, go up. Go up slightly. <laughs> You're giving her directions. It basically just feels like you just got like a poo stuck when you got a finger in your ass. Yeah. Yeah, no. that's. So then I'm like, okay, hang on. Hang on. We, we Get your phone. So she's got her her one pointer <laughs> finger inside my asshole. Okay. Your face right now is like, hmm. 
I don't know going? how to feel about this. And then she starts Googling it. Okay. She doesn't remove her finger because then that's like we got to start from scratch yeah, yeah, and start I don't want to do that. Well. Yeah, we leave it in there. So then uh, just to be funny, she's trying to type and I'm like clenching. <laughs> I'm like squeezing my asshole like I'm trying to hold in shits. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. If you're going to put anything in an asshole, clench it shut for like 40 seconds and then just let go and your asshole will swallow whatever's going in. What? It's like yeah. you, so is that how you keister things? I guess. I don't know. I've never put drugs in my butt. Well, you don't just drugs. shove things up your butt. Well, like you got to prep your asshole. Well, some there's this like news article once that these three ladies ended up in detox because they keistered a bottle of vodka. And they like they they didn't like shove the whole bottle of vodka in there. They just kind of like stood upside down and like just let it drain in their butt. And they That's got... hilariously <laughs> wrong. <laughs> It sounded so funny. You're doing a headstand with a bottle up your asshole. Yeah. It's like a backwards water jug. Yeah. Well, no shit. It's called gravity. Oh, it sounds awesome. Plus, your body's like, oh, you've inserted something into me, and it just... Oh, It's God. a natural suction effect. Sounds so cool. You're, you're supposed to do it with a tampon anyway, not you're just supposed... You don't really? pour... Well, it's alcohol, and it burns, and it's your asshole. And First they talk off, about, how'd you know about the tampon thing? Because fucking Professor Google, that's how. You think I'm putting <laughs> drug-laced and alcohol-soaked tampons in my asshole? No. There's only one thing I will put in my asshole, and it's apparently my wife's finger. That's fair. It's always a nice milestone in a marriage. So she's laying there with her other hand out like this, mm-hmm. just in front of her, like, hmm. Just looking real elbow, smart. <laughs> elbow resting like on my hip, and then she starts playing a goddamn uh, YouTube video <laughs> with giving direction on how to milk a prostate. And of course, it's one of the ones with the digital computer voice. Okay, and it's giving tips of what to do about the lubricant and a glove and how to enter. It doesn't give the pucker tip. That's a good one. Okay. And uh, and then all of a sudden it says, make sure your fingernails are clipped. And I don't know why that was so funny, but we <laughs> both burst out laughing. And then she was laughing at the fingernails clipped thing. And I was laughing at the fact that your finger's in my asshole and we are sitting here Googling how to get your finger in my asshole <laughs> and how to milk my prostate. <laughs> and uh, and nothing, it didn't. Wasn't as glorious. No, I didn't feel anything. I'm like, are you, are you doing anything? It's just. Like, it didn't hurt. It didn't feel good. It just taking it off the bucket list, I guess. <laughs> and then the other day, she's like, apparently you're supposed to take your finger and, like, wiggle it back and forth. Not, oh. like, make that come here thing. You're supposed to just wiggle it side to side. Side to side, not up and down. Yeah, but as she's watching this video, she's seen the diagram of, like, the inside of a dude's asshole. And she's like, oh, wait. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's it's not doing... Am I broken? Why won't this feel good for me? <laughs> the whole reason I did this terrible fucking thing is so it would feel nice. And all it just feels like is there's a finger in my asshole. <laughs> and now I have to go to a doctor and he's going to do this and he's going to use two fingers. And they're probably going to be fatter than hers. Oh, yeah. And he's going to have a boner under the lab coat because he enjoys it so much. He's like, it's okay, I'm a professional. You might feel a slight pinch. I didn't feel a pinch. I felt a whole finger in my asshole. (laughs) But as I've said for years, I was nervous that what if you go get a prostate exam and then he accidentally grazes it the right way unintentionally and then you're like, oh, God. (laughs) That would be so funny. Because a doctor's Uh... office in that situation is not the way that I want to end up having a sexual epiphany. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to go home and put so many things in my butt. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Which, if it was this doctor from when I was uh, a teenager who apparently got fired for asking uh, about gay sex to his teenage boy patients because he himself liked gay sex, I guess trying to get it from teenage boys, his name was Corey Rossow, R-O-S-O-W. I don't fucking care. Fuck him. Maybe there's two S's. He doesn't have a job anymore. He's not a doctor anymore. He lost his license because he was a weirdo. Yeah. But once upon a time ago, he was, like, asking me about my health, and he's like, uh, never, never, like... Uh, homosexual sex I'm like no that's how he would test the waters <laughs> he'd like start asking about gay stuff and he'd be thinking he's like come on come on come on come on, <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> say, say yes say you like dicks in your ass good say god you fucking suck a dick can you keep a secret you should have said yes just to play with it see where it went no 
That's not a situation yeah. where you just go with it. Sometimes. No. Okay, well, the next time you're at a doctor's office and she asks you about scissoring, you say, yeah, that's, I'm totally mm-hmm. into that shit. Why? Will you? Totally, what, why? What are you doing later? No. I had a really hot doctor one time. Guy or girl? Girl. Okay, go on. She had a thick Russian accent. It oh, was, yes. It was awesome. Would you like for me to massage you and I have to check the inside <laughs> of your pelvis? Uh, it was good. It was good. I wish I could stay longer. Really? But I was done. What was she doing to you? Uh, I think it was just a checkup, like a normal. She like gave me one of them booby touches and booby touches. I forget what oh it's called. Oh my god, you sound like an eight year old. I walked in on mommy and daddy, and they were doing booby touches. <laughs> I forget what it's called. I don't... Foreplay. No, not foreplay. <laughs> like a monogram or whatever. Mammogram. Mammogram. A Mama. monogram. Mama. <laughs> she was sewing your initials onto the I hope pocket so. of a shirt. Uh, I hope so. Just a big O. Oh, yeah. And then I inside don't. of it, just an I. <laughs> inside of the O? Is an I. Okay. I was just waiting to see if you'd say something. I was just being quiet. No, okay. See how long I was going to say, how long are you going to read your notes? Oh, I know. My notes are memorized. We've I've shot most of my load at this point already. Oh. Giggity. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, boys and girls. It's time for another Hey Boys and Girls. Hey Boys and Girls. Hey Boys and 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 Girls. It's time for another It Radio fucking fucking fucker shit and ass tits beer. Oh, so about the story, should I tell the one about the Mexican kid on the bike that I Yeah, let me tell that quick. I know you wanted me to talk about that. Yes. About a month and a half ago, I was leaving from my apartment to go to my parents' house to do laundry. And I'm going down uh, 242 in Coon Rapids. Mm-hmm. I turn to left uh, onto Olive Street, which is just after Foley. Okay. It's a side street. And there's a school, so I know not to go fast. The neighbors get pissy. I'm going 20 miles an hour. It's starting to rain. It's dark. Fucking some shitty song was on the radio. I remember. And then I all of a sudden, I'm going. I'm going. I get to an intersection. There's not a stop sign for me, mind you. For the mm-hmm. other direction there is. And I see this navy blue streak coming at me. And I turn my head to the left. And I see this fucking kid on a bike. And I hit the brakes, and he hits my left side fender, and he goes bouncing off the car. He's like, boop, 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 boop. did he lose a shoe? He didn't lose a shoe. And that motherfucker needs to get hit again. This little fucking Mexican kid goes flying off of my car like a luchador and lands, you know, ass first on the pavement, and his it, mongoose is all tangled. Did he, uh, he had a mongoose? He had a mongoose. That thing fucked my car up, dude. It dented or scratched five panels and did twenty two hundred dollars. Mongooses used in to be good until you could start buying them at Target. I think. Yeah. So twenty two hundred dollars in damage from a fucking mongoose on my Ford Escort, and there was this dent. If you have seen the new O two, well, the O two Ford Escorts have an elliptical panel that goes from hood to trunk. It's over not the doors. elliptical anymore. No. Well, there was a dent in it, and I uh-huh. wasn't sure if it was from his little beaner skull or from his elbow. <laughs> So I hit the kid. I slam on the brakes. You know, it probably wasn't either of those. It was probably like his kneecap or something. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck you, Carlos Lopez Jr. You know his name? That Yeah. That was Carlos Lopez? <laughs> Guess what his dad's name was? Carlos Lopez. Yes. Well, if his, na- if his name is Carlos Lopez Jr. Yeah. Well, I didn't know it was a junior. I'm like, what's your name? Carlos. <laughs> Fast forward 45 minutes later when we're standing by the ambulance. I'm asking his dad for names for insurance information. I'm like, so he says Carlos I'm too. like, what is your name, sir? And he's like, my son's name is Carlos. I'm like, no, what's your name? He's like, Carlos. I'm like, so he, he's Carlos Lopez and you're Carlos Lopez. He's like, yes. I'm like, that's fantastic. And I had to turn my head and laugh. But uh, so Even if you laughed, you could have just said you found something funny on the ground. You yeah. wouldn't have understood it. So this kid's laying in the street and going, oh, man. No so I get out of the car. Bad. Yeah, not no. I got out of the car. I throw his bike to the side of the road. I pick him up, and this neighbor guy had come, and we walk him to the curb, and we sit him down. I ask him if he's okay. And uh, Pablo? Pablo? I asked him his name. He's like, my name's Carlos. <laughs> you make him sound so old. And gangsta like Well my name this is kid Carlos. had a fucking scratchy voice. I oh. thought he was like ten. He's fifteen. Are you serious? Apparently they don't feed themselves down in Guadalajara. <laughs> or they found, you know, the fountain of youth. Yeah. And this little prick is bleeding from the back of his head a little bit and his cheeks all bruised and there's a bulge. I'm like, dude, what did you hit your face? He's like, No, it's like that. I'm like, What do you mean it's like he's like, My cheek is like that. 
I'm like, your cheek has a bulge. He's like, yeah, I was born that way. And I'm just like, oh, sweet Jesus. You know, I'm going to remember this for so many years. And that you're going to be. I didn't hurt a little Mexican. Yeah, I didn't do the damage to. There's nothing that I did to this kid that life already hadn't. I just reminded him that it's a good idea to not try to race a car through an intersection <laughs> and to wear a bike helmet. Because when the ambulance came, they checked him out. The firefighters were looking at him. And a firefighter comes up to me and he says, uh, he's okay. He's going to be all right. You're good. I'm like, okay. He's like, well, and I asked the kid. This is the firefighter. Mm-hmm. He goes, I asked the kid why he didn't stop. And the kid said he thought he could beat you through the intersection. I was so fucking happy. I'm like, I'm not going to jail now. Well, and, but the thing is, think about it. your kid. That's what you – well, 15 years old, I guess, never mind. But when you're six years old, you think you can beat anything. How often do you race your parents' car I don't out know, the dude. driveway and down the road? And yeah, and then you wipe only out make and scuzz like, your knee up and cry while your dad laughs on his way to work. Yeah. Go oh, stupid motherfucker. But honestly, 15 years old, you think you wouldn't figure out that the equation is bike versus car. Who's going to fucking win? They don't have Gee, court I TV. don't know. Maybe he doesn't watch cops or anything. Maybe they don't have uh, math down in There's Mexico. There's a good – no, they just know don't drink the water. They're like, what the fuck is an abacus? <laughs> um, Bethany, I brought it up before the show when we were eating the fucking KFC. Uh, congratulations that your insurance goes down today. Yes. Congra- dude, high did. five on that, fucking dude. High five. And um, it doesn't matter how many Mexican kids I hit with my car, <laughs> I still get a reduced rate. They, they should reduce it even more. I, it's fucking population control. You're listening to Blumpkin and Friends. How would you like to play a game? Which game? Well, hang on. It's oh God, really like you fucking like. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Depends if I'm gonna lose or not. Well, I mean, it's 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 a possibility. Yeah. I'm gonna open my phone up. I'm gonna go to my other notes. You will be playing the RPS challenge. Oh. Again. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Blumpkin and Friends proudly brings to you the Rock, Paper, Scissors Intercontinental Championship Challenge Championship of the World! So, uh, you know the rules. Yeah. You will be going up against Neil. Okay. Neil is my friend, who I've known since I was 12. One time he threw a hunk of gravel at me, and then I hit him in the kidney with a golf club. Good base for a friendship. Nice. You got to get the ugliness out of the way, and then once you're done with all the things that you don't have in common, then you can take the time to learn about all the things that you do. Oh, keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, if I had a nickel for every time that he walked in on me getting a blowjob, I'd have three nickels. Three nickels. Yeah. Oh, lucky him. He only knows about, he only physically witnessed two of them. One time he was just like, he had his back to us, and I was like, gesturing for her, <laughs> and she's very quietly... Very elegantly trying elegantly, to there put you a go. dick in her mouth. Classy ladies. Anyway, RPS challenge. Here we go. Hand number one. Uh, paper. He said paper. Yes. Really? You're like jazzed <laughs> about a tie? I'm okay with a tie. It doesn't mean I lose. <laughs> okay, okay. Hand number two. Scissor. He said... Scissors. Motherfucker. Oh, so the first tie was like, <laughs> yeah. The second tie, like, God damn it. Well, it's getting closer and closer. Like, I could lose. It's possible. I know. Hand number three. Mm, paper again. He said, rock. That's a point for you. Turn up. <laughs> Why would you say it all calm and shit? Nobody goes, turn up. Because I'm a calm person. You don't just, like, grab a bottle when the bartender's not looking and be like, turn up! No. Fucking shirt comes off, tots are swinging, pouring alcohol in people's mouths as you're walking around. Do you get like that? I don't get like that. I don't have tits, so if I take off my shirt, no. You could have tits. I don't want any titties. Seen some really elegant man boobs before. Elegant man boobs. We're ruining that word today. (laughs) That word is so beautiful. That's the word of the day! (laughs) And if someone says the word of the day, you know what you do. You scream! Ah! Fucking scream, zombie! Jesus. Name that show. I can't. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Fuck your face. (laughs) I haven't seen Pee Wee's Playhouse since I was probably five. Well, first off, uh, that show was on when I was five. So I don't know. Hand number four. Uh, rock. 
You said rock. He said paper. <laughs> now you're tied, and it's hand number five. So guess what? Now you have to win this, or else we go into OT. Great. Yeah. Way pressure. to go. Pressure. Only slight pressure. Only slight pressure. Only slight pressure. So as, as long as you get somebody with, like, thin fingers, it shouldn't be too bad. That's fair. In your asshole. Oh. <laughs> hand number five. That's a callback. It's a joke that references another joke. Uh paper why are you saying it like that <laughs> i don't want to say my answer he said paper nice face overtime great you're just like hmm. uh. michaela is not impressed hand number six mm. scissor he said scissors mother bitch terrible combination uh, that's the way people from other countries that move to america and learn english swear it's good swear oh you come back to me mother bitch i get to you <laughs> fuck you mother bitch and that's funny it's it great. kind of is it's beautiful that's also my impression of the beast's dad oh my I departed get, father i never get got to meet him and that's kind of mean no it's not that is how he sounded one time we were at dinner mm. and and we're eating it's like he puts horseradish sauce all over his food, like Ooh. too much. And then, are well, you liking that? Huh? It looks like your eyes are tearing up. <laughs> He's like, oh, it burns. I don't know how people do cocaine. Huh? <laughs> and then we all laughed because it was oh. fucking hilarious. Hand number seven. Uh, Just fucking win. What'd you got? I I'm only trying. Have eight. We only have eight, and then I have to call him. Uh, Paper. You said paper. He said rock. Mother. You won. You Pay attention. It was so long. I don't, I can't it was enjoy so it. I can't enjoy it anymore. God damn it. You are, God, you seem like you might be kind of a pill at times. <laughs> uh, how long are you going to talk? <laughs> and stop trying to lick my asshole. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, that was hilarious. Interact with the show on Twitter at Blumpkin Show. That is at Blumpkin Show. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash Blumpkin and friends. The show is on iTunes and also on Podbean at blumpkinshow.podbean.com. I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. And I'm Ivy. Good night.